Here's a quick uh, video of the Casio MT65. Uh, I suppose it's a home keyboard, but uh, there's definitely some synthesis going on in there, and um, something quite analog sounding as well, really. Um, no filters or anything like that, but um, there's a couple of modulation uh, possibilities on it. But the, the drum section is just really, really cool, I think. Um, it's very analog drums. Um, and I think it's from about 1983. I don't know whether it uses Casio's um, CZ sort of phase dis distortion synthesis um, or, or what. Uh, any, anybody knows, just you know, drop me a mail, I'd like to know. But anyway, here's a quick overview of the front panel. Uh, so we've got the auto accompaniment section and then the controls for this, which is the bass chord and a pregio. And they're, they're probably more or less different preset patterns. Um, for those sections, but they also do, they, they do modify the sounds of those parts as well. Um, you got your cool uh, drum machine section um, with your start, stop, synchro, and, and the fill in. Um, I suppose the sounds of this, which I'm sure you'll find out soon, reminds me of the Roland early Roland TRs. Um, pretty pretty cool, but good fun. And then you've got your amazing sound section, which uh, the some useful sounds in there but obviously everything you hear in today is going to be totally dry just so you get a, a good overview of what's going on and then you've got your modulation sources uh, well it looks like you're just uh, changing the amp envelope simple as that the the attack sustain of it really but you can you can change the sound a little bit and then with this section over here where you got your your modulation basically uh, whether it's delayed or it's constantly on or off um, and then you've got your th this is more or less just this the release set switch this just controls um, whether the re release dies off not normal um, or it's sustained um, or they call it reverb but basically it's the tail end of the sustain is quieter but let's just first of all just go to the harpsichord because that's quite a quite an interesting sound on its own so here we go So that's not bad and then what we can do is if we just change turn, turn the modulation off as well as uh, the sustain reverb so and then with the sustain set to sustain then with this sort of reverb effect it's it, that's all it's doing is uh, lowering the volume of, of, of the release but you know it's still, it's still a good a good effect so let's just look at these two modulation options. Uh, so, so this is the sound sort of a preset. So there's something happening to the decay there. And then the second. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think what I'll do now, rather than go through all the sounds, they're pretty predictable what, what you're going to get out of it. So let's look at the fascinating part, which is the drum section. So let's just start with the, obviously you've got your back in your auto accompaniment, your preggio, everything like that, but I'll just keep that off for now and we'll just stick with the drums. So here we go. So these are the drums. The fill in, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, like in that. So these are the different presets. So the drum kits are the same, but it's it's the rhythm and the pattern that changes. Um, so we stop that a second. So now with the more interesting part, if we just put it to, I think, probably Pops, I think. No, let's go for Disco. There we are. Let's go for Disco. That's cool. We, um, so we've got the Appreciate section now, or the Accompaniment section. So let me just turn the rhythm down and the Accompaniment back up. So if we start this, um, and let's turn the, just the Appreciate section. Okay. Ooh. Oh, of course, that's going to be on. Here we go. And 
we'll turn the bass on. So let's turn these drums up. Now the appreciator on. So let's look at the different uh, bass chord and appreggio settings. Um, so let's turn them all up at the moment. So these are the different bass. Oh, I like that. Look at the different chord section. Quite like, quite like that. And the preju section now. So let's just change through the patterns. Yeah, 16 I think is my favourite. We can change to the different banks then. So it's, you know, quite a cool thing to sample or just mess about with and have fun. Um, you know, if you process the the, the, the presets, I think you can get some really good results. There we are. That's it. So just a quick overview. Um, so there's obviously no MIDI or anything at the back. You've got a headphone line out and uh, takes a 7.5 volt power supply. Um, yeah, so it's a, a pretty cool, nifty, retro, fun thing. Nothing too serious, but... Uh, there we are. Enjoy. Goodbye.